What is up all my beautiful people? I had to hurry and get on here before this video gets going and let you know some information that is very important. For starters, we have brand new hats on the Rise and Shed website. And as you can see, that is actually the Euro of the buck that I shot this year with my bow in my home state of Utah. And right here is actually March's t-shirt subscription. It has to do with Scout to Hunt. They are actually giving away a Shedicated version on their app. So if you sign up for the t-shirt subscription, you're put in for every giveaway that I have throughout the year. And I'll have a giveaway at least once every single month. These turned out very nice. I love the way these look. And my boy Machine Thomas, like I said, he created this design, created this design. He does everything for me, let's be honest about it. He does all my designs. So if you guys need any work done, hit up Travis Thomas, Machine Thomas on Instagram, and then actually Outdoor Traditions did these hats and they made them look sick. I love them. And along with the Shed Hunt giveaway, uh, if you go over to the website and you spend $10, you get an entry. So every $10 that you spend, you get an entry. And if you sign up for the t-shirt subscription, you get 10 entries. And like I told you just earlier, you're put in for all the giveaways that I have throughout the year. And uh, there's a couple other things that are actually brand new to the website. And right here, look at that bad boy. We have the Rise and Shed logo on the Horn Hunter pack. I am so stoked about that. And this is actually a Horn Hunter pack. This is everything that you're gonna get. It comes with bat wings, you have your little day pack. And uh, yeah, that's actually happening too. We have bino harnesses. I'm actually so stoked about these. This is something that I've been thinking about for a long time and something that I wanted to do. And I'm just so thankful to Horn Hunter and John and his whole team for giving us an opportunity to put our logo on the Horn Hunter products. So I'm just, I'm so pumped, I'm so stoked. And I just wanted to hurry and show you guys because I am excited and I want you guys to be excited. So you literally have your opportunity to purchase a backpack or a bino harness at risingshed.com and you get a whole bunch of entries if you obviously purchase a backpack or a bino harness. And I just wanna let you know the April Shed Hunt giveaway is going on right now. You have until the end of the month to get entered. And then obviously we have one more month of Shed Hunt giveaways and that'll go into next month, but the trip will be in May. So I just wanna say thank you so very much to all you guys. I appreciate all the support and hope you guys enjoy this video. Backtracking this bull right here. He has some huge prints. So I'm just backtracking him and hopefully he left his sheds back here. These are pretty fresh tracks. Look at the size of that guy. <laughs> Hello, hello, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another video. I'm out here with Cody and his wife, Cambry, Ricky, and Jeremy, and we are in familiar country for them. And I haven't really actually been out this way. I've been near here, but I've never came this far south. We went hiking yesterday, put in a half day. I got skunked, put in seven miles, and couldn't turn up anything. Starting out our day, been hiking for about an hour and I just happened to look over at the right time. I'm actually still following that bull track right there. I'm still gonna be following it, but just happened to look over right through those branches, right through there, there's a deer shed. So I'm gonna walk over there and go pick it up, but that is the first shed of the trip for myself and I'm jacked about it. <laughs> we'll get him put on the Scout to Hunt app and try to look for his other side and try to find some of these big bulls. I've been told there's not very many bulls, but the bulls that are here, they're studs. Where did that deer shed just go? Shoot, I took my eyes off of it when I was walking over here and now I can't find it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Alrighty. Yeah, this should be a fun little trip. Oh, nope, th those are sticks, but this should be a fun little trip. Uh, we've been talking about doing this hike for a while and we finally made it happen. And this guy's kind of cool. Yeah, buddy, he's old, been sitting here a while and there's other bull tracks that walk right by him. He is chalky. Check that out though. Nice little deer shed for myself to start the trip. Not gonna complain with that guy right there. I love being out here hiking around and as you guys can see this is that that new merch had these at the expo and they went quick and I just thank you guys so very much for supporting the brand and wanting to rep my gear it means a lot to me but these are brand new 
and this is actually the deer that I got with my bow. Machine Thomas did it, and then Outdoor Traditions did the hat. So I think those look snazzy. I like it. I like it a lot. And anything that you guys buy and or do or post with my brand, just know it's greatly appreciated. But there she goes. Right there. Icebreaker. I dig it. Let's find some more. There's like three different bulls. Two went that way. One went that way. I just happened to look down at my feet at the right time. Can you guys see that? It's an arrowhead. Broken one. Oh cool. That is awesome. Alright guys, I've been following the same bull tracks the entire way and I've gone a ways and he's taken me far down into this canyon but came up on this little bench as we've been crossing through and I spotted some tines let's see what it is oh it's a <laughs> it's a cool big deer shed oh my goodness where's your other side bud let me turn this around and show you guys dang <laughs> look at that thing it's an old but big deer shed. He's got a little something something right there. Oh my goodness. That thing is, that's big. Too bad his top is broken right there off his G2 because dang. Maybe we can find his other side and see what he looks like. But <laughs> that main beam is redonkulous. Holy cow. That's like high 20s main beam no joke that thing is stupid that buck is so wide oh my gosh that is stupid that is big wow um i would love to find his other side yes please so these tracks bell off the rocks right there and down there is where he lands that's like a like seven foot cliff right there <laughs> that's wild came walking up on this guy look how wide that buck was that's insane that buck is so wide Dang, old giants. Leave him here. There, that's crazy. That's a big deer. Too bad he's all chewed up. We'll find nonetheless. Keep going on in this stuff. See if we can find something else. Can you guys see that? In the middle of the screen. Another broken arrowhead. Very cool. <sighs> Walked right up on it. Just sitting there. Very cool. Good morning, ladies and gents. Starting out a little bit later. Got some good sleep last night, and I'll tell you what, this trip has been little bit of a rough one in the shed department. I have two sheds in two days and about eh, a little over 20 miles hiked. Not the best shed to mile ratio right now, but we're getting up, getting after it. It's Monday morning. We're in an awesome place and we're going to be hiking some awesome country. We got the man, Mr. Cody Murray right here. You guys recognize him from last year's shed hunt giveaway. Hi everybody. He was kind enough to invite us out here and uh, get some shed hunting in and a little bit of an ass kicker we, so far. It's gonna change though today. Oh yeah, absolutely. Five, five to seven a piece, all three of us, five to seven. I like it, he's putting got the, his- Putting the vibes out in the world. Yeah, absolutely. He's got his wife 
over there in the jumping jack getting ready and uh, hey go show off that big set okay let's go show that bad boy off we got their little dog Shiris <laughs> not happy so Ricky actually ended up finding this yesterday gave a pin to Cody to go pick it up and yeah Ricky left that thing are you stupid what are you doing Ricky <laughs> That's a big bull. This is motivation. They're gonna be newer. What would you say, 360? I, I said 360. 350 all day, maybe 360. Yeah, that's a big bull. Let's go find a stack of those right there, bud. Agree. I like it. I like it. Look. <laughs> but we're gonna be throwing on our boots, getting our backpacks ready, and we're gonna be heading out. Today's gonna be another 10 to 15 mile a day, guaranteed. And we're in the most gorgeous country. We have a whole bunch of mesas. We have Indian ruins. We have elk all over the place. I've been seeing sign everywhere. And all day yesterday, I was following three different bulls. And I thought they would lead me into more sheds or some browns or something. And it didn't work out in my favor. But sometimes that's just how it goes. That's the same game plan we have today. Getting on bull tracks, following them get in some browns and let's just have a stellar day well guys i'm heading up there to get on top of that bench but spotted some tines right in front of me looks like we got our first elk shed of the trap <laughs> there we go that's a cool one basically a two point spike there we go first elk shed of the trip we'll take her heck yeah Keep heading up this way. Might grid out this sage a little bit. See if we can find something else. Once again, got bull tracks back there, right here. These are big bull tracks. I just want to run into a brown. Come on, baby. Old Cody stumbled upon this. Look at that buck. <laughs> he's a little smelly. Dang, he's a little big. Holy cow. That's a sweet buck. In line. I like to find them when these are just on the ground. But... Right. That's a stud though. I was pretty excited. Yeah, I would be too. <laughs> that is a stud buck. You gotta call that in. Yep. Well, ladies and gents, we went on a, I don't know, six hour hike. We got our butts kicked, got skunked. Ricky found some deer sheds. Got some deer sheds. Is that a little set? Yeah. A little set right there. And then Jeremy has all the brown goods, all the sweet goodness. Deer sheds are kind of lame though. <laughs> so lame. All right, and Jeremy was basically the only one that got into elk sheds, and uh, he found a few. That one's a set. Nice, good set right there. Nice, let's see that. Hold those up. Nice. 
nice, nice. We thought this one was the other side to this one, but I thought that was a set, but it's got different birds and this one's smaller. That's crazy. They have cool color on them. Yeah, they were in burn. This nice. one's got a cool little dropper trying to start off its... Yeah, it does. Check that out right there. Let's go hang out with the cool kids. Let's hold up the set. Did you find anything good? Don't bring out the garbage. You got anything good? No, I didn't find nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good set. It's got some mass to it. Yeah. Right off the Jeremy road. said 320. Do you guys think, do you want to take the over or the under? Wes said 320 also. I'm taking I, the I would over. say 320. So you got blood I'm on taking this the over. Bar. Yeah, everything he picked up had blood on the bases. Oh, I, I just wanted one. one one of one of those oh dang yeah that set is uh, a lot bigger than this morning when you were holding it up dang that's a sweet set 180 i think that one i, I take the over also on that one i think cooler kickers would have come in better good set that's a big deer yeah, we had a good weekend yeah had a stellar weekend yeah, a little turd one i picked up yesterday couldn't leave it <laughs> <laughs> nice. These are all Jeremy's phones. I seriously think that that's going to be higher than one. Well, no eye guards hurts him. <laughs> He's a good buck. It's a sweet buck, though. I walked in front of Cody after he came out of the trees with that one. Yeah, Cody's hands. chafing just a little bit over this one. <laughs> all right. Snagged my line. It's okay. Cody just said it couldn't have happened to a nice Hap guy. Oh, um, yeah, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> No, I appreciate you guys letting me join you in getting out and laying down some boot tracks. We thought the sheds were going to be a little bit more plentiful, but that's not what it's all about. We had some good chats. You yahoos went into town instead of staying out and camping with us. You wimped out. Jeez. Nice warm shower. Yeah, but thank you, Cody. Thank you, Cam. Thank you very much. Appreciate everything. All the dinners, places to stay. Thank you. Very welcome. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Same to you, gents. Okay, thanks, thanks for letting me you. join. Jeremy, you're a hot dog. Bye, Cyrus. Can you say bye? <laughs> <laughs>